Hello everyone, welcome to a reading for Sunday, January 30th. Wow, the end of the month is nigh. And um, a couple of announcements really quick. If you haven't noticed, I do post recommended listening um, in the description box below for every reading or when it's appropriate, which is most of the time. Um, there's also another layer of um, the reading, I guess, also in the description box below because typically when I'm editing these videos I will um, I guess uh, take away some additional meanings that I wish I had caught and so you know for me this is part of the learning process um, I have had people uh, message me after the fact and deliver me messages from my own readings which I love and I wish you would keep doing that um, because the one thing that's missing for me on these YouTube videos is the interaction. So I'm thinking about how I can get into live videos. Um, I feel like in order to do that I need to grow my following a little bit more. So if you could do me a favor, just subscribe and or like or share the video. Um, then we can get on with it. You know. So thanks for being here. Thanks for the support. Let's do a little reading for today. You know I've got my favorite combo over here, the Moonology and the Northern Animal Tarot. Working really hard this month, but I've been thinking about how I could, um, not how, just what set of cards um, I'll do next, or what kinds of readings I'll do next. I have two new decks coming in this month alone, which I'm very excited about, and uh, what else? Since it is the end of the month, I think I'll go back to doing uh, Zodiac sign check-ins. Um, or for the month of February, I'll, I'll post um, a video for each of the Zodiacs at some point. Maybe today. Maybe tomorrow. Not on anyone's schedule, not really. This is for, this is for me, and it's also for you, and let me know what you want to see. New Moon Aries, it's time to take action. Definitely feel that. Definitely feel that. It's time to take action. Something is becoming unstuck. Prosperity lies ahead. You see that? Or, or it's forward motion now. Double, oh wait, Fire Earth. Fire Earth. Conclusions are within reach. The full moon eclipse. All right. This feels pretty, um, pretty much like the timing is right here. Prosperity lies ahead. The new moon Taurus, I do believe that there was, um, this is about taking care of your finances. I think this was the tune to the moon for this card was also something like give or get a massage. Like tend to your sense of stability, money, but also our bodies. It's time to take action. Both of those are new moon cards, so it is about setting a direction. Time to get going on those on those dreams, on those plans. Conclusions are within reach. Hmm. I definitely want to read that card. It's a bit auspicious to me. Even this, the look of it. Oh, we got the crescent moon underneath. Okay. Just the look of it is pretty much like... How many sticks we got there? One, two, three, seven. It's like, it looks like it's behind a prison, you know, some bars or something. And we got Crescent Moon underneath, King of Pentacles, there's the stability, a seed, a new beginning, Page of Pentacles, aha, uh -huh. studentship, so trying to understand how to, <laughs> how to form stability with something that's brand new. Interesting. The Hierophant, Four of Pentacles, Two of Swords. That's the only one that's upside down. These are all upright, that's interesting. Two of Swords, Queen of Swords, appearing in the same position she did last night. The Ten of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. 
I get the sense that yeah, something new wants to come in, something brand new, a brand, uh, a new beginning, and it, it's it's something that I think you will like, you will enjoy it. However, the energy is that you're stuck on um, a a pre an old idea of stability. So maybe you, I'm honestly like maybe you have. Um, a financial source that has been steady and this this totally reminds me of like get a real job you know what I mean that's the vibe I'm getting from 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 this here uh, work hard and you know show up on time do all the right things and you'll 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 get a job you know I don't know why I'm focused on work the la these last few days, but I think it is connected to s just our sense of stability, right? And we can think of stability as money. I also want to think of stability as our own sort of inner world. So take it how it resonates. What I see coming toward the towards the end here is that sometimes when we choose happiness, the road to get there there is no good choice. You have to go through something sticky no matter what. And so that's what I see happening is like you're trying to understand what is the best route to get to something that may, that'll make you very happy here. The Ace of Cups, a new beginning. Um, the Cups is, a, is of our, our, our emotional center. I love this, this just the image stuck between stuck between stability and our, and true happiness here or uh, or something new new that makes you happier than than what um, than what your current situation or maybe a recent past situation was really offering you <clears throat> um, you shouldn't be upset with yourself because I think that whatever this past thing is yeah this is something we were um, taught this was the traditional route to stability the traditional route towards to stability and so thinking about it you're like yeah I've got to build my life on on this thing that I know is a sure thing moving forward <laughs> I really do believe this guys I've, I believe that of all the rules we've learned there are so little of them that really apply anymore and so what are we waiting for um, in terms of you know going for this ace of cups or allowing the ace of cups to come in this is about building a legacy uh, for, for some of you this might have been familial pressure to get into some other things that that maybe aren't linked directly to your happiness so to have this fresh start you do have to sort of let go of those old um, traditions, those just the old way of thinking or just letting go of the opinion of the people who brought you into this life maybe, you know. They're gonna have, they have their path. They think they can help you by telling you what to do um, and what will make you feel good. And sometimes that's true, but other times we do have to make our own path, and I do believe that we just there's there's no more rules anymore. The rules are be a good human being, and treat any everyone with kindness and respect. See the humanity of it all, and just go towards what makes you happy. And sometimes that's not going to align with other people's version of happy or other people's um, version of your happiness. See how fucked up that is. Let's go ahead and read from the book a little bit. Um, let's let's read the moon books, the moon books, the moon pages. New moon Aries. <laughs> Attune to the moon. Don't even think about giving up. Do your best and be happy with that. Avoid being brash. You need a 12-month plan. A new male is coming into your life. 
a new mail for somebody. Here he is. Oh, uh, that might be this King of Pentacles. I don't know. Um, so, the, yeah, the new moon Aries. It's a big yes from the universe. Time to tune into your dreams. You may have a long way to go. After all, Aries is the first sign of the zodiac, but you're on your way. Determination, self-assertion, and bravery are called for, but the hot fire of Aries is driving you towards success in whatever endeavor you're asking about. The caution, don't go too fast and forget your manners. Treat people well as you charge towards your goals. You'll create much better karma for yourself. Um, what else? Yeah, so it, well, it just said it's a good time to start on a new intention. So this is this is the time. If there's been, if you've been waiting on starting something, this is your sign to just go ahead and do it. Whatever is, whatever the first thing that comes to your mind right now, it's probably that. Uh, make a 12 month plan. Oof, that haunts me because um, I've been meaning to do that just to like look at the year ahead and see what I want to do or where I want to be and I got about three months in um, heart barely I think I'm good through February sometimes not having a plan you know I, I'm waiting on the 12 month plan this is my sign to make that 12 month plan let's just say that I'm gonna do it uh, let's see now we have new moon Taurus so new moon Taurus is that nice energy to go along with the Aries because Taurus is steady, okay, and consistent, loyal. Yeah, attune to the moon, get or give a massage, healthy body, healthy mind. You will soon be able to afford the dream your thing you are dreaming of. Get clear on what you value most. This will help you find peace. Take some time out to pamper yourself. Start a standing order to a savings account, no matter how small. And again, it says, don't give up. Um, another, make a 12 month financial plan. This card can also signal the start of a new relationship or of sexier times. Someone is getting a mail. <laughs> Someone's <laughs> Congratulations to you. It's, um, it's almost Valentine's day. So I hope you're not alone. This comes down to the laws of attraction. Value yourself and others will value you too. You can create abundance. Taurus is associated with luxurious Venus, and this card holds the new moon energy. Venus went direct yesterday. We are full steam ahead. So, again, this is about building up your self-worth. That's why we, we see the crescent moon here. A very strong message I'm getting from this whole read in general is you are worthy of the change you want to create in your life. What is your source of stability? Is it bringing you happiness if it's not there is no easy decision in terms of how to clear that out and make room for the happiness that wants to come in. There is no easy way. You just got to go through it. And I think I will say the easiest way, but the but the but the method that the easiest method yet the method that no one else can help you with is what you bring to the table, the energy that you you say, I know I can do this. I know it's a good idea. Just the self, that self-validation, the self-confidence. Where do you get it from? It's a very good question. Um, I think you should start with really, really small goals and small intentions. And um, I have a um, something that's worked for me is I have a reward system that recycles often. So. For example, um, I don't wait for, I don't, I don't put a time limit on like, if I do, if I can not do this for X amount of time, then I'm going to go do this massive thing. No, I have like, it's very, very small. I said, as long as, as long as I'm not buying or smoking any cigarettes, for example, healthy body, healthy mind, I can eat whatever I want. I can buy whatever I want within reason. I'm not like splurging like crazy. But I do really enjoy a good snack. And so that is motivating for me. It makes me feel good to reward myself. And then I feel double good because I'm 
successfully abstaining from the activities I don't want to be doing, the, those bad habits. So it's an immediate, it's a, what I mean by it's an immediate recycling is that I can practice this literally at, at any moment, any minute during the day. It's not, um, there's no conditions to it. I don't have to be in a certain place. I don't have to uh, be with a certain person or wait for certain conditions. This condition is always true and I can practice it any waking moment. So that's a really fun way to, to sort of build up some self-confidence. Um, the consistency of that, like the more times you can practice a positive reward or something, um, the shorter the shorter it is, the smaller it is, means the more you can practice it, means, hear me out, the more you can fail and the more you can learn. The more you fail, the more you learn. And I always say you're not a failure, you're a practice. Okay, and you deserve to have whatever whatever this is. Whether this is new love, right, the male. <laughs> Okay, let's take out the gender. Somebody wants to come in for you, okay, to support you or to bring you happiness. Okay, where were we? Yeah. Now for the final card, the full moon eclipse. Conclusions are within reach. And just like that, a door slams shut. If you've pulled this card, it suggests that the situation you're asking about is about to reach a peak or has just done so, and things are now out of your hands. What you're experiencing now is what your soul signed up for, a way for you to learn and for your soul to evolve. So allow things to unfold and be easy on yourself. If you're letting go of someone or something, know that it's the right time, as hard as it might be. Forgiving someone for what they did could be the key to resolving the situation in a positive way. It doesn't make right what they did, but it releases you so you can move on. That which is meant for me will not pass me by. Doors which slam shut now will not reopen. It's time for you to get back on track. Forgiveness will set you free of karma. Meditation, pranayama, and yoga nindra are all recommended now. Seed control and let events unfold. Change is a part of life, and this card, no matter when you pull it, reminds you of the fact. So this is, yeah. Because the full moon eclipse gives us a, um, gives us a glimpse into the shadow self it's saying also to work with your darkness I see that makes sense um, you want to move ahead in some way and start something new you can't take with you these things that you need to let go old um, models of stability as in where you draw your strength from I feel that you what this thing that's coming is so new that it will you will build a new life on it and with it in a much happier sort of um, existence the true legacy that you want to create for yourself for your family It's on your mind. It's definitely on your mind and it's definitely something you've been thinking about a lot and trying to understand how to have this new beginning. Ah. Hold it. So yeah, holding on to the past is something that want, needs to be let go of. That's what's causing some sort of stalemate here. There's no right there's no right decision, but the hierophant reminds us that we have our voices. Uh, the, the throat chakra is what reminds us to speak our truth, to say, um, to say our peace, so that you can let it go. That this is this is definitely the transmutation of getting something out of you so that it can exist outside of you, and then it's no longer within you. You're no longer holding on to it. Get the confidence to say that kind of stuff, uh, to to pro to practice that, does take a bit of courage. It's very likely that for some of you, the, the family element is strong here. Either there's been like familial influence in your life that's like been, um, that has shaped your life in some significant way, or you're thinking about how do you start a family and how, 
um, your you know your own legacy um, and and more future thinking about about that as a as a source of happiness here I definitely sense that that for some for some of you that might be the case um, and uh, what else can I say yeah it's it's so true that like once you um, find a partner start a family like that is a significant life change. That that feels like the level of change that this card is, you know, really bringing. But it doesn't have to be because I know that that's not for everybody. But yeah, that's what I got. So um, I hope you enjoyed this message. Um, remember to go check out the um, recommended listening and whatever else is in the description box below. And thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. Bye.